So if you haven't tried this already, the guest middleware work in pretty much the same way. We're just kind of doing a reverse of what we've just done. So let's grab our auth middleware. We'll copy this over so at least we have the rest of our kind of boilerplate code and we'll create our guest middleware. So this will be, you have to be a guest or either not authenticated rather to access it. So let's change over the name to guest middleware. And of course here we need to do something completely different. And this is checking if the user is signed in. Now, if they are signed in, they're obviously trying to access something like sign up or sign in, which they don't need to. So we can just redirect them off just without a message. So we just do the reverse and check if they are authenticated. So if this container auth check, and then if not, we just want to redirect them. So response with redirect, and we will grab our router, generate our path just for our home page. Of course, feel free to update this if you want and add a flash message. So we have our guest middleware. Now we just need to create another group. So up here, obviously our home is excluded because anyone can access that whether they're authenticated or not. We just have a group. We have no URI because that doesn't make sense. And we want to place all of these inside. So we don't want them to access sign up or sign in when they are authenticated. So we have our guest middleware as normal just here, guest middleware. We want to go and add that middleware, so new guest middleware, pass in our container, and we're done. Simple as that. We now have two areas. We can enter any more routes or create any more routes, and they'll be protected. So let's test this out then. Let's go and sign in with a real account, like so. And again, we need to update this. There we go. Let's just try and sign in again. And my password I changed earlier. There we go. So now we shouldn't be able to access things like sign in. And we're not. We're just redirected back. And of course, you can test sign up as well. And we're redirected back. So that is it. We have protected against the routes that we've created for different states of our user, whether they're signed in or not signed in.